Now to World Challenge 2011, a competition aimed at finding entrepreneurs or projects that have shown real business determination and made a difference at a grassroots level. In the past, this has been projects including what to do with elephant dung and our guide throughout the whole world of competing ideas has been Leo Johnson. Now a big wheel in the US fashion world, Mateen has returned to design a better life for Afghan widows. As part of Afghan Hands, the women earn a good living creating high fashion for the boutiques of New York. World Challenge is the global program that's about finding and celebrating the businesses that are making a difference. Entrepreneurs who've got a vision to launch and grow a company that's not just about profit, but about making a difference to people and the planet at the same time. Haiti, the poorest country in the Caribbean, has lost nearly all its trees. One cause of the deforestation is the widespread use of charcoal for cooking. Now, waste management company Cascaf is reducing pressure on the remaining trees while also cleaning up the slums by turning ordinary rubbish into fuel briquettes. We have developed a new fuel and it helps to solve the problem of deforestation. The way it works is simple. It's open to viewers all over the world. They nominate the businesses that they think are making a difference. Then there's a jury that comes up with a shortlist, and then the viewers themselves can vote which is the one that they want to win. Over the years, World Challenge has seen some extraordinary projects get nominated, from orphans making greeting cards in Rwanda, to bamboo bicycles in Zambia, to a bunch of Berkeley, California grads growing gourmet mushrooms on top of coffee waste. This is where everything kind of comes together, all the hard work starts paying off. So you can see the mushrooms literally popping out of the substrate or the coffee. There are so many unusual projects. I guess one that sticks in my mind is Sri Lanka, where you've got a group that's making paper out of elephant dung. You take the dung and it's rich in fiber. Boil it up, roll it out, there's the paper. And the beautiful thing about it, of course, is that the revenue from that then goes back to the community, back to conserving that elephant sanctuary where the elephants are from. The manufacturing process is the same, but the product has been branded peace paper. <laughs> the impression I had of elephants before was of anger and fear at its destructive power. But now I don't feel so angry because we are making paper out of elephant waste. And also, we're not cutting down trees to make the paper. So my view now is that the elephant is good to have. World Challenge. And you can find out more about this year's competition by logging on to theworldchallenge.co.uk, where you can find out how to play your part in nominating competitors and choosing the winners as well.